Hey guys, wanted to do a little bit of a shop update and show you my latest upgrade to the lathe. I uh, went ahead and got a quick change tool post uh, to make things a little bit easier on me and a little bit more efficient when I start using this machine. And uh, what this one is, it's a phase two quick change tool post. Uh, I got this from Enco, had a 25% off coupon and uh, figured I'd go ahead and take advantage of that. And uh, from what I understand, uh, this is probably one of the better import quick change tool posts out there. Uh, unfortunately, I really can't afford, or uh, rather, I really don't want to pay for uh, an Aloris or another American made uh, quick change tool post. Uh, they're very hard to find uh, for very cheap on the used market. And uh, brand new, they're several hundred dollars. And uh, at this point, I really can't justify that. Uh, for this machine and uh, for my skill level or budget so uh, I think this will work just as well for me uh, it's definitely a leaps and bounds above the uh, lantern tool holder uh, a lot easier to change and uh, I think a lot more accurate when it's all set up and ready to go so uh, you can see how easy these things go in and out just lock it up there and you're ready to go and uh, the only thing if you guys are uh, considering getting one of these uh, you will need to machine the t-nut uh, which comes with it and it's really not a t-nut uh, until you make it one it's just a block of steel uh, with a hole tapped in the middle of it and uh, the other thing I'll need to do is get a dedicated spacer for this uh, to bring everything up to center line uh, there is some adjustment, obviously, on your quick change tool holders. But uh, without that spacer, just setting it down on the compound, uh, it's way too low. So uh, right now I'm just using the spacer from my lantern post, uh, setting that upside down. But uh, I'll go ahead and make a dedicated one uh, when I get some materials for that and uh, get some cutters and whatnot. So uh, here's the T-nut after I machined it. I uh, just had to take a little bit off the sides, uh, maybe a sixteenth or just over a sixteenth off of either side uh, to match the width. And then I put a rabbit on either side with the mill. Uh, maybe a little bit over an eighth inch uh, deep and over a uh, say about five sixteenths or so in and uh, fits pretty good uh, really no play there very happy with how that came out and uh, you could tighten that down to lock it in a little bit better and uh, overall uh, it's a pretty good investment uh, if you plan on uh, doing a lot of work on your lathe. Uh, there are cheaper ones. Uh, this one I had a 25% off coupon for uh, with Enco. So I decided to take advantage of that. Uh, but obviously there are much more expensive ones as well. So uh, it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, if I had a $10,000 lathe, uh, I'd obviously get the Aloris. But uh, this lathe is uh, probably 60 years old and uh, something I'm going to be learning on. So uh, I'm really in no big hurry to spend a ton of money on it yet. Uh, I'll save that extra money for tooling and uh, other accessories. But uh, this one I think was necessary. Uh, I think it's a very uh, useful addition and uh, something... Uh, that'll really uh, reduce the learning curve on this lathe uh, as far as setup times and getting things uh, dialed in. So uh, that's it, guys. Any questions, leave them below. Uh, appreciate the views, and I'll see you next time.